Hello everyone, I am Shwam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of height and distances and the question is as follows. From a point D on the level ground, the angle of elevation of the school building is 30 degree and the flag on the top of the school building is 60 degree. If the height of the flag from the top of the building is 40 meter, the height of the school building is. Now we are provided four options for this question, option A 42 meter, option B 30 meter, option C 20 meter and option D 22 meter. So this was our question on the topic of heights and distances and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I've tried the question and I've got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question we are given a school building of unknown height. So let's draw a school building. Now whenever we draw any building poles or tree in heights and distances we represent them by using a straight line. So this is our school building. Now if we name the foot of the building as A and the top of the building as P then we are given that the angle of elevation of the top of the building from a certain distance let us assume it to be x is equal to 30 degree. So we have got that the angle of elevation from the point C to the point B is equal to 30 degree. Now we are also given that a flag is situated at the top of the school building which is 40 meters away from the top of the building. So if we consider this point D as the top of the flag then we have got this distance from D to B as 40 meters. So we have got the length of DB as 40 meters. And let us consider the length of the school building as y. Now we are also given that the angle of elevation from the point C to the top of the flag is equal to 60 degree. So if we connect the line of sight, so we will get this angle as 60 degree. Now to solve this question, we can first assume the triangle ABC and then ADC and then apply the properties of trigonometry. Now we know that tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base, so in triangle ABC, we can say that tan 30 degree is equal to y by x because y is the perpendicular and x is the base. So we have got tan 30 is equal to y by x or we can say that 1 by root 3 is equal to y by x or we will get a relation in x and y that is x is equal to root 3y. So according to our first triangle ABC we have got that x is equal to root 3y and now let's move on to the other triangle ADC. So we have got x is equal to root 3y and in triangle ADC we will apply the same rule that is tan 60 degree is equal to AD by AC. Now instead of AD we can write y plus 40 and AC is considered as x. Now we know that the value of tan 60 is equal to root 3. So we have got root 3 is equal to y plus 40 and instead of x we can write root 3y. So we have got root 3 is equal to y plus 40 whole divided by root 3y. Now upon cross multiplying we will get 3y is equal to y plus 40 or we will say 2y is equal to 40 or the value of y is simply equal to 20. So according to a given question we have to find the value of y that is the length of the school building. So we have got y as 20 meter and according to a given question it is option number C. The final answer is option number C 20 meters. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,